Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. My name is Sansa Fon, and if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified each and every time I upload a new tutorial on my channel. If you're all member, you're welcome back. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you on how to draft and sew this cow neck step by step. So if you want to know how I go about it, keep on watching. First thing I did was to go ahead and draw a straight line, which is my guideline. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to take my soldier measurement, which is 14 inch. I will divide it by 2. 14 divided by 2 give me 7. I will mark that up. Then I'm going to slant it down by 1 inch. After slanting it down by 1 inch, I'm going to go down to my armhole deep, which is uh, 7 and a half inch. I will mark that up. Next thing I will do is this 7 inch I use from here, I'm going to be marking it up here. After marking it up, I'll go ahead now to connect it with like so, as you can see me doing. Once I'm done connecting that, the next thing I will do is to go ahead to mark the neck deep of the back, which is uh, one and a half inch. And I will mark the neck width of 3 inch. After marking it up, I'll go ahead to connect that up. Then I'll connect my soldier slant as well. After connecting my soldier slant, the next thing I'm going to do is to measure my armhole from here to here. And I'm going to... Uh, divide that by 2 which is 7.5 divided by 2 will give me 3.075 I'll go in by half inch mark that up then I'll come here I'll put one quarter of my boss which is 34 34 divided by 4 will give me eight and a half. I mark that up after marking it I'm going to connect it up like so Once I'm done connecting that up, the next thing I'll do is to go ahead and measure from the soldier to the half length, which is 15 inch. I will mark that up. I'll measure from the soldier to the hip deep line, which is uh, 22 inch. I'm going to go ahead and mark that up. Then I will connect it with a straight line like this. Next thing I'll do is to go ahead, I will divide my waist by four round my waist is 26 26 divided by four will give me six and a half then i will mark that up i'll be adding one inch for my allowance all right and one inch for the dark then i'll come here i'm going to put one quarter of my hip which is 37 37 divided by 4 will give me 9.025 then i'll add my one inch for the allowance after marking it that up i'll just go ahead and connect it up like so now i'll measure whatever i have from here to here i will take it down to the length and mark that up if you check the way i connected that down apart that's because i don't want it to be straight okay but now i'm still going to put that uh hip measurement that we had from the top part i will mark it up here then i'm going to connect it straight if you want it to be a straight dress like so all right see what i just did there now next thing i'm going to do is i want to come at this downer part i'm going to be going up by one inch you can go up by one or one and a half inch is fine like so mark that up then you're going to take your french calf connect it up like so after doing so, we'll go ahead now. I'm going to be adding the dark allowance. I will take the nipple put. My nipple to nipple measurement is 7 inch. 7 divided by 2 will give me 3.5. I'll add half inch for 
joining the dark together. All together is four. I will mark that up. Then I will do the same thing here at this downer part. After marking it up, I'll go ahead to connect it with a straight line. Then come on the hip deep line. You're going to go up by two inch. Then I'll create my dark of half inch here and half inch here. Then from this chest line, I'll just go down by one inch or two inch. Two inch. All right. I'll connect that up. After connecting that up, I will add one inch for the dark allowance because I did not add it when I was uh, making up the pattern. Then we'll go ahead to cut that up and separate it up like that. Now, I'll go ahead to use this piece. I'll be cutting up the back piece. But the fabric I'm using for this is a uh, door face, silic satin, the soft one. So I'll just go ahead to pin this up. And cut the back piece while adding my one inch for the zipper allowance all right once i'm done cutting that up we're going to go now ahead and slash up this piece right there open this up now that i'm done open it up i'll just go ahead and pin it on the other piece like so straight so you can see fold your fabric into two now you're going to decide on how deep you want the neckline to be here. I'm going to go ahead, I'll add 8 inch, connect that up like this and pin this uh, pattern so it would not move. Once I'm done pinning it up, I'll take my ruler, I'm going to connect from the neck width all the way like so. Connect a straight line. After doing so, we'll just go ahead now and cut that up. I'm going to minus the one inch for the dark because we don't need a dark here for the front piece. So once I'm done cutting it, that is what we have. We have both the back and the front. And I have the skirts part as well. And I also cut an interfacing for both the back and the front, all right? So we're going to start now pinning everything up together. So what I'm going to do is I'll just pick up the front lining and the front piece. I'll pin the right side facing each other. And I'm going to do the same thing to the back piece. After pinning, I'll go ahead now. I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to place it right on top here and mark where the dark is. Like so and like this, all right? Then I'll go ahead just to place it up like this. Pin that up. I'm going to do the same thing to the other piece as well. And then we'll go ahead to stitch that up like so. Do the same thing to both the front and the back. I'll start by stitching the dark first. Then I'll stitch the back neckline. Then I'll stitch the front neckline after doing so you go ahead to notch that up flip it to the right side go ahead and press this up to lay it a steam iron after doing so what i did was to go ahead and press as well the dark part you can see the way it's already coming out i'm going to go ahead and be joining the top part to those cut as well just like this make sure my darks are Mashing each other, I'll pin them up. I'll do the same thing to the front piece as well, to the other piece as well. Once we're done pinning everything up, we're going to take it to the machine and we'll stitch half inch away. After stitching, this is what I have. I'm going to be joining the side seam of the dress. I'll do the same thing to the other piece as well. Then I will 
take it up i'm going to stitch it up so i really went ahead and stitched and i stitched the armhole of this other one i'm going to show you on how to do the other armhole all right so you can see what i'm doing right here first thing you want to do is to go ahead now just take the back armhole and the front armhole you're going to match them up together like this you will kind of flip it over like that to cover that up wash at what i'm doing right there put it together that's the sensor like this go ahead and secure it with a pin so that it will not move then you take one piece of it then you cover both sides this way one will stitch the back soldier is going to be in between the front soldier that way it's going to be very neat when we are done stitching i'll go ahead now i'll just stitch that up then i'm going to close this armhole after closing it we'll go ahead now to flip it to the right side When I'm done stitching, I'll go ahead now to trim all the excess. Then we will flip this to the right side. And this is what it's looking. As you can see, it's very, very neat. Right? Now, the next thing we want to do is to go back again, flip it back. We're going to close it up like that to be able to close the armhole and stitch so the armhole will be neat as well. I'm going to put my pins pin that up then i'm taking it to my machine i will just uh stitch this up right there after stitching i'm going to notch it then top stitch and then i'll go ahead to press it up look at what is looking very very neat if you're adding sleeve to this there's no need for you to go about adding this aligning stuff all right i'm doing it because i'm making it uh sleeveless so you can see when I'm done doing so, I'll just go ahead and repeat the same thing to the other piece. Then I'm going to hem the downer part of the dress. That's a full half an inch and hem that on. And this is what it looked like on me. As you can see, the cow neck really came out. Well, I hope you all find this tutorial helpful. If you do, do not forget to give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. I hope to see you on my next DIY. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.